just a quick update on the the uh, Martini Cadet, what happened when I went to the range. I made up some ammo with AI2205, uh, half a grain less. I went from nine grains to eight and a half grains with smaller rifle magnum primers to see if that would fix the the residual unburnt powder issue. It didn't. Uh, so I'm going to completely disregard AI2205 as a powder in this gun. Um, however, the ammo that I made up with the Hodgson Little Gun, which is 10 grains of Hodgson Little Gun, that worked. That definitely worked. Now, the aiming point was there. So I was aiming at the bottom of these diamonds. So it is shooting, a, and that's it. I think that was at 25 metres. Um, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to, the ammo that I'm going to make up, it will be uh, nine and a half grains of Hodgson Little Gun with the 122, one, 128 grain, sorry, 128 grain projectiles. And uh, where are they? I haven't got them here. And uh, then I'll really test it out. So that's the result. If you're thinking of loading ammo, which you have to, you can, well, you can buy it. Like Cleaver do sell it in Brisbane, but you know, if, you, if you're not in Brisbane, I suppose you can order it in. I can't remember who the guy is that makes it, but who knows what it is. I don't know what his ammo is. You're better off just making it. Follow practical, not tacticals method. Maybe my method as well, which is a slightly modified method um, of practical, not tacticals. He's he's the guy that knows how to do it. Watch his video um, or videos. And uh, so at the moment there is a, a scarcity of pistol powders for some reason, I don't know, I was told weather, yeah, whatever. Uh, just get Hodgson Little Gun and uh, it works. You don't have residual unburnt powder and you can get it, you can get Little Gun. So that is, as far as I'm concerned, that's definitely the way to go. Um, I'm gonna go to nine and a half grains or maybe I'll just do a bit of a ladder test. Uh, down down from 10 grains and see how I go see what's the optimum uh, load charge so just wanted to update you on what actually happened and yeah it's a great little gun the the barrel and everything is in great condition so yeah it's a good shooter um, the sights are not the best uh, practical not tactical has got the adjustable sights I don't um, this was an early model obviously but anyway, so if you are thinking of, of getting a 310 Cadet, there you go, you got the info. You get the 128 grain uh, Hawkesbury River, River Bullet Company heel bullets, you get the Bertram Brass, you get the 303, this is what I do anyway, you get the 303 Expander Mandrel, the 303 British, run that through it. Then just, uh, in the last video I said that I was expanding, I was flaring the mouth with the lead. I, I'm not doing that now. I didn't do it with the last batch. I was actually using the um, expanded die from the Simplex. But if you haven't got the Simplex, to, just to flare it, flare the mouth, then you can use the Lee. But what I do is to try and get that flaring concentric, I'll, I'll hit a little bit, spin it a third, hit it again, spin it another third, hit it again. That way, just trying to get that flaring perfectly concentric because that does affect how your bullet is seats whether it seats concentrically or, or aconcentrically to one side, causing a bulge, as I've said before. And uh, yeah, so little gun, um, I've got to go to work, so you're not going to see the results of uh, the next test for about another week or so, and uh, I'll let you know what's going on. So just wanted to update you with that, and see you later.